You see her, right? Chick I got up there in the video. And just like she's pointing her finger and laughing at me, that's the, the, the way that this, yeah, I'm getting emotional. One of the hardest things to do when you're in business for yourself is to gain and maintain customers. Sometimes if you look at people the wrong way, you'll never see them at your establishment again. This is the story of someone that I wanted to get rid of, but she would not ever go away, no matter what the hell I did. It makes me shake my head to this very day. Just thinking about it because this chick worked my nerve and my partner's nerve. When you have a business, having a customer that just wouldn't go away, no matter what you do, is a wonderful thing, right? Not in this case. This chick was crazy. I knew she was going to be trouble from day one. Came in from a Craigslist ad. I remember talking to the talking to her on the phone, and she was like, "Hi, how you doing?" I said, "I'm good." She's like, "You have bedroom set. I like. Well, come on and get it. What time you open? What time we you you businessman?" And bunch of questions, bunch of questions. But you know, clearly she's an immigrant. So I thought. <laughs> so I thought, right? She comes in and diminutive little woman. She might be five foot nothing, very small frame, but irritatingly polite. Because while she's working you, she's bathing you in kindness. I like bedroom set. Okay. What's best price? The price that's on it. The bedroom set that she liked and that she eventually bought was a nice cherry wood. It was called a uh, was Louis Philippi set, you know, with the steam, the curved headboard and footboard and the hidden drawers. And it was a, you couldn't tell it wasn't new. And I was asking $600 for it. And it included the mattresses. The unit only cost me a hundred bucks. So I was really going to work that. But she's like, ah, I like, but price too high, price too high. And she had a husband who never said a word. He, he was just like, what was that James Bond movie with Odd Job? The guy who he didn't do, he didn't say anything. He just did shit. That was this guy's purpose in life. She's like, point at something, he pick it up. She's say something, he nod his head. You know, perfect handmaiden, right? And she said, too high. And he looked at him, and he's like, I was just sitting there like, okay, are you ever gonna speak? And for years, he never said anything. He never said anything. And I, I just politely told her, 600 bucks, take it or leave it. And she said, I, I think about it. Thank you. And with that, she was gone. And I thought I would never see her again, right? No, 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 no. Next weekend, I get a phone call. Ah, you still have bedroom set. I want $400. I was like, no, it'll be 600 because it was kind of close to the fall and I knew there would be this influx of students coming to town and I was going to sell that set for 600 bucks. I just had to have a little patience. Sometimes you have to have a little patience. And um, she said, ah, I will beat that at 12. Don't sell my bedroom set. <laughs> like, who are you? She and I job show up, right? And she's like, she gets real close to me like we're pals and she kind of elbows me in the side. She's like, uh, you take 550 and she had $550 in her hand and you know, she folded it up. Then she grabbed my hand very aggressively and put the money in there and closed my hand up. You take, I take, I have people come. And with that, she spun around and went to buy. So I thought, <laughs> I was like, okay, 550 bucks. I don't have to deliver it. I can live with it. It's a win. Like I said, you only cost me 100 bucks. Well, she stacks up all this stuff, little knickknacks, brick brack, and things like this. And she's like, ah, I have a butt bedroom set. I was like, shaking. The shaking began. Shank, shank, shank. I was like, I just wanted her gone. So it's like, you, you have, you take, you go. And 
I thought that was be the last time I would see her. But every weekend, she and I job were there. And it was always the same song and dance. She would go around to the dollar tables of other places, grab the stuff, then come back and very politely and very kindly, you make me deal. You make me deal. Then one day, out the blue, she was in there and she kind of got close to me and she just kind of looked at me and like this whole definition of personal space was lost upon her. It was just strictly lost upon her. And she gets real close and I mean, she's just like, your partner don't like me. Your partner don't like me, but I like her. It's all right. I am Christian. <laughs> I was like, well. <laughs> I was like, okay, so you know <laughs> you're not wanted. You know you're irritated, but you just don't give a damn. At that point, I was just like, she gonna never leave. She's just not. Rain, shine, whatever. Come in. Hi, you have a good holiday? <laughs> she would not leave. And come to find out, this woman had a shop up in Lawrenceville. She would come down and buy the stuff real cheap then go back up there and resell it to her country people because she was Chinese. That much I do now. She was Chinese. And if you know anything about Gwinnett County, there's a huge Asian population up there of various um, communities. You know, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Vietnam. They're all up there. And uh, I remember the last time I saw her and she's like, ah, I come many years. I come many years and, you know, she, you know, this was the first time I seen her like a little testy, you know, because she was always polite and very nice as she shanked me, right? And she's like, I, 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 I need a deal. I need a deal. At this point, I didn't care. It was a great day, made a lot of money. This little woman was not going to bother me. I was like, okay, what you want? And she's like, I want this and I want this and I want this. And she and Odd Job, he was there and he was like, she said, I want a deal. I want a deal. And he's like, I was like, okay, you know, get whatever you want. Because <laughs> I don't care. Because the day was great and I got a date tonight and I'm getting the hell out of here and I'm not messing with you. So we go along and do the song and dance and her and Odd Job and the, the pile gets larger and larger and larger. And I was like, hey, 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 don't take advantage. I, I not take advantage. I good customer. I come all the time. I come. I come. And I was like, the way you acting, you ain't came in a long time because you a little bit, just a little bit aggressive here. You know, you got a little tension. Just a little tension. Your shoulders all thick and stuff from that buildup. And then it was like she remembered she was a Christian. She's like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad week. Family in town. Drive me crazy. I can't wait till they leave. <laughs> I, like, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, right? <laughs> I know the feeling. And with that, she and I job took their stack and went off the docks and they went. And my partner who was in the back was like, I don't know how you do it. It's like she's spent a lot of money over the years. I know, but she, whoo. Then with that, she peels up the jock. Hi, how you do? I knew you were here. <laughs> she just would wear you down, right? <laughs> but she wouldn't go away. She just would not go away. And many, many people from Craigslist became part of the family uh, from those Craigslist ads. I mean, it, it's really... Now that I think back about it, it was actually pretty awesome because we were able to build a lot of something out of nothing. Uh, I remember when the warehouse moved in there, had to pressure wash the floor because there was all this soot and stuff from um, forklifts and everything. I mean, it was a lot of work just to get that place clean. Not really presentable, but just clean. And I really looked at it and I said, like, huh, that was all right. Even with, I would not leave. I know you don't like me, but I. I would not go. I'd I, I not go. And the reason she wouldn't leave because she was getting deals and making money. Let's just keep it straight. She was making a lot of money off that stuff 
that I got. I was pretty much a wholesaler to her, but when I knew I was going to see her four times a month, money's money, right? All right, this is Glendon with another crazy Craigslist story.